Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Yale versus Cornell college basketball matchup on Saturday, March 16, 2024. If you like all the free picks we're doing at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK to take 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bank rolls, looking for one-on-one -on -one style service. Those picks are not available and those packages are not available on the website. You just have to text the number you see on the screen. So if you make big bets like I do, text that number. But let's get to this one. Ivy League tournament action. Yale versus Cornell. Of course, the Ivy League, only a four-team tournament. The other game, Princeton versus Brown. Yale versus Cornell. The two team winners play each other, and the winner goes on to the big dance. It really is that simple in the Ivy League. They don't play all the big things during the week or anything like that. Ivy League athletics, they like to keep it all on the weekend. Yale enters this one 20 and 9 on the season, 7 and 3 in their last 10. Cornell 22 and 6. Yale finished in third in the Ivy League this season, while well, it was Cornell finishing second, but Yale considered the home team in this one. These teams played head to head twice this season. It was Yale 80 to 78 at home. Cornell was a seven and a half point dog in that thing. And then at Cornell, it was Cornell outright 65 62 as a two and a half point favorite. You know, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, just because Cornell has played well this season. They certainly haven't dominated. They've lost to both of the teams in the other side of the, of the bracket, um, Brown and Princeton, in just their last four games. Of course, that was following that win over Yale the last time that the, that the two played. When we look at what Yale has done recently, you know, the loss to Brown to end the regular season, 84-81. They were 11-point favorites in that one. And, of course, prior to that, they'd beaten Harvard, Dartmouth, and Columbia. Not a world beater among them. Columbia wasn't all that bad this season. Harvard, of course, the rivalry game. But then losses to Cornell, you know, who they play here. And then Princeton, the other playoff team. So what we see here is that Yale, where they've had problems, is against the teams that, uh, you know, that they have to beat to go all the way. The thing we know about Yale, though, is they've kind of been there and done that already. While Cornell, you know, they have had times in the past where they've done it before. This Cornell team can really shoot the basketball. 49.3% from the floor, 34.9% um, from the arc in typical Ivy fashion, over 72% of their free throws. The Yale defense is good. Um, allows teams to shoot just 41.8%. A little softer, though, from the perimeter. And when it comes to the boards, though, Yale can be an eraser on the defense. Defensive end. Meanwhile, the, the Cornell defense just doesn't really stack up all that well. And that is the weakness here of this team. You know, that and the rebounding. You know, generally, I think that, you know, I, I think that Yale's offense is good enough to run with Cornell. And I also think that at the same time, I think the Yale rebounding probably ends up being the difference maker in this one. I'm going to take Yale, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.